you never know what pops up. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time the Valley Village on Victoria Park near Eglinton. It was a pretty busy day when there's only one or two shopping carts left. We're looking through some of the clothing right off the bat. looking for the Hawaiian shirts as a possible one. I didn't say it was, I said it was a possible one. That looked like a prospective one, yeah, that, that could be one. These are long sleeves, so there's a less likelihood of finding one, but there are some of them in long sleeves. See the uh, number of aisles of clothing, children's, women's, men's. As usual, the selection varies by store. Yes, they hang the pants so that you can see the entire waist as you're walking by. It does make it easier to check the sizing. Ah, here we are. I think we got this one from here. Yes, I'd picked out something else along the way. There's a definite one. I think they were smaller sizes and these guys usually are a little more pricey than some of the places I like to get them from. There's one. It's a more demurred one. Yeah, 1049. Even Value Village Boutique had lower prices than some of these. It's more a dress shirt kind of thing, but I don't know about being Hawaiian. Busy enough, possibly could be considered for one. Again, another busy one. And then we get into the other items. As you can see, they've started to put stuff on top of the racks as well. It's taking the concept from some of the competition or the other way around. More likely these guys borrowed it from the others. And they had quite a large selection of bags, handbags, and backpacks and purses. And sporting goods area. There's a collection of golf clubs. Here's the electronics. It's jumbled in with the sports. I'd picked up a specific cable I was quite interested in having because I wanted to test out something. I did find it here. 
wasn't the first store I looked in either, so it's getting harder to find those cords that I wanted. It's the old style uh, electronics cord used on a whole host of various devices from vacuum cleaners to kettles. Besides typewriters and computers. Here's a collection of cords. I hate it because they separate the cords that are used on the particular electronics. So perhaps you only want to buy the cord, but now you've stranded the electronics so that no one can even test to see if it works. Silver plate, glassware, some ceramics showing up here already. More glass. I think these were serving pieces and bowls. And we have books. Uh, interesting that they choose to price them according to what they were originally priced at. Based on it, not not as a percentage, it's just if the book it appears to be an expensive book. They put it in as a, at their top price. It's not particularly high. Here's a here's a nice old book. Everything you needed to know. The field guide to typography. Now, how often do you find a book like this? I didn't get it, but it really intrigued me that they had something like that. And here's their jewelry section. Some of it's locked up, some of it's not. Tells you the relative values generally. And the checkout, which we've got self checkout. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, appreciate a like. Uh, subscribe and for yourself you could put a mark on the bell to be notified of the next video thanks a lot folks bye bye